Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. I am currently sat in the bedroom in front of my wardrobe because I'm about to build my summer capsule wardrobe, which I'm super excited about. I've already started a bit. I found this lovely pair of dungarees in my storage, which I will show you throughout this video. So I've got a draft of what I want my summer capsule wardrobe to look like right here. This is just made in Photoshop. It's the regular overview that I always share. Um, usually I would just make it in Cladwell and then just have my phone with me, but I haven't done that yet. I've only started making it in Photoshop. So I just printed it out so I have a plan to follow. This summer capsule wardrobe is maternity friendly as well because I'm currently almost halfway through my pregnancy. So I'm around four to five months pregnant right now. But I would say that this is something I would wear even if I were pregnant or not. So if you're not pregnant, I hope this will inspire you anyway because like I just said, this is something I would wear anyway. I feel like I'm not limiting myself too much um, just because I'm pregnant. I still have some amazing favorites in my wardrobe that I'm actually able to wear and that I want to wear and um, I want to stay true to my style throughout the pregnancy and beyond um, no matter what because I'm still me. I still have my personal style and my own identity. If you're not pregnant, I hope that this video can still inspire you. for the summer season. So I just steamed everything, got all hot. It's a lovely and sunny day today, so it's the perfect timing to build my summer capsule wardrobe. So like I mentioned briefly in the beginning, one of the most important things for me this time around and this summer is to make sure that my wardrobe fits my changing body because I am pregnant at the moment. But like I also said, I feel like I haven't compromised all too much with my own true style. I feel like this Wardrobe is still very much me and it's something I would wear even next year, um, except it wouldn't be maternity jeans, it would be regular jeans I would be wearing. Um, so that's sort of like the biggest difference for me right now. I do have a lot of jeans in my wardrobe and I've had to purchase a couple of pre-loved maternity jeans. So I sort of just um, tried finding some jeans that could substitute for what I already had in my wardrobe so they could sort of fill out those gaps. My personal style is very casual. Most of what I have is sort of oversized when it comes to tops and jackets. Hoping that I'll be able to fit most of what I have in my wardrobe all throughout my pregnancy. So let's do a bit of a haul. Um, most of these things that I'm about to show you are wardrobe stables that I've had for years. Just had them in my storage boxes. A lot of it is still just my all year basic wardrobe and then there's some items in here that are more summer appropriate. But let's start with what I'm wearing so don't forget them because they're not hanging in my wardrobe right now. So these authentic 90s dungarees are a pair of dungarees that I bought a couple of years ago on ASOS Marketplace. You guys might remember them. This morning I actually just took a bit off the length um, so that they have more of a cropped fit and they are perfect now especially with a pair of boots or something like that. I know that a pair of dungarees is definitely not everyone's cup of tea. For me I've always loved dungarees. I don't know if it's because I'm a 90s kid. Could be. <laughs> um, but I just find them so cute especially throughout pregnancy. I find them so comfortable, perfect for that growing belly. I just think it looks so cute. And they have these buttons in the side that I can actually open as my belly grows. So you can see that I've already opened the first button here. But yeah, I just felt like making them part of my wardrobe. I actually considered turning them into a pair of dungaree shorts, um, but decided to leave them as they are because then I can wear them throughout other seasons in the future if I feel like it. Right, so there are some other things here that I also had part of my spring capsule wardrobe. So I'm just briefly gonna talk about those. Um, I have my beige biker jacket here. That was also part of my spring capsule wardrobe. Lovely biker jacket, a great alternative to the black one, which is a fixed part of my all year basic wardrobe. This one is bought pre-loved on West Year Collective. It's from a brand called MASH and it's in this stunning beige color. Um, another thing I also have in my spring capsule wardrobe is my 
blue blazer and this might be a bit too warm for the summer season i'm not completely sure i might have to store it away at some point this is a wool blazer and it's better for those transitional periods so throughout the spring season it's been perfect as sort of as a jacket um and it would also be perfect for the winter season because it's quite heavy and warm so yeah i might have to see how things work out with this but i just love it so much this color is amazing and i just want to wear it all the time so keeping it in my summer capsule and then we'll see how we get along so other things that i've had in my spring capsule wardrobe that i'm also keeping in my summer capsule is these two items this vintage tea dress that i bought by the start of the year in berlin love this starting to get a bit tight around my tummy so i've actually been wearing it more as like a rope over t-shirt and jeans lately and I love that so definitely gonna hang on to this one even though I probably won't be able to fit it um, closed anyway all throughout the summer. This t-shirt you've seen before as well, this vintage um, eagle t-shirt that I bought in Rocket Vintage in London last year. Final piece that I also had in my spring capsule wardrobe besides all of my basics that I always have in my wardrobe all throughout the year is my leopard flats. These are I think four years old and I tend to bring them out every spring and summer because they're just so cool. I love a leopard print. So like I said, the rest of the things I have in my wardrobe is all your basics. And if you want to have a closer look at my basics, I will link a video for you right here, I think, and down below. Um, nothing has really changed here. I have been wearing the same basics for years. Let's jump on to the new things that I've added to my wardrobe. Most of these are from my storage boxes, uh, but I have bought a few new items pre-loved and then one new item completely new, which I haven't received yet, um, but I'll get back to that later on in the video. Let's start with this white shirt right here, which is actually a white shirt is part of my all year basic wardrobe. Um, so this is more considered a basic to me more than a summer wardrobe stable. Some of you guys might recognize this shirt. This is from Armed Angels and it's a beautiful sort of like paper touch, really crispy classic shirt in this A-line fit. So you can't wear a jacket over the shirt. You can't really wear a jumper or anything over the shirt because it has sort of like this odd fit. But on its own it's absolutely stunning. It's perfect. So I actually got a shirt from my husband, a white shirt that he didn't use anymore, and I decided to pack this one away and then add that men's shirt to my wardrobe instead. So yeah, I packed this one away, but now that I am pregnant, I have a growing belly in the front. This A-line fit is perfect for that, plus, like I just said, it's perfect to wear on its own, which I will be able to now because it's starting to get warm enough to do that. So let's move on to the next top that I have in my wardrobe before moving on with dresses. This is a linen shirt from Power of My People that I've had in my wardrobe for years as well. It's made in linen so it's perfect for the summer season, super breathable, very thin and I probably won't be able to close it all throughout the summer season as I get bigger so I will probably be wearing it open and then with a tank top or something underneath that's how I intend to wear it anyway we'll see how we get along it's just a great basic shirt for the summer season I've been wearing this um, even before I got pregnant and I intend to wear it after my pregnancy so next summer as well because again linen is just the perfect material for summer just pulling out all of my dresses. So let's start with the one I have in the front here. You've seen this a million times. This is a dress from the Danish brand Gany that I bought pre-loved many years ago now. Bring it out every single summer. Love pairing it with a denim jacket. It's just a great staple. Super effortless, stretchy, comfortable, perfect. Um, the next dress is that blue dress that I mentioned before, so I'm not gonna dig too much into that. I actually feel surprisingly amazing every time I wear this dress, even though it is a rather feminine kind. Next up is a new piece that I've added to my wardrobe, this lovely army shirt dress. Was it last year or the year before I mentioned having a dress like this on my summer capsule wish list, but I just never bought it because I thought, nah, I have 
dresses enough already, um, didn't really want to bother. But this year I decided to take the plunge and I found this one on West Year Collective. It's from a brand called IKKS, which I'm pretty sure is a French brand. So I'm sure this will be a, a solid favorite for me throughout the summer season. I actually wore it yesterday um, with a black t-shirt and a pair of black jeans and then a pair of boots and that looks super cool as well. So we'll be able to wear this both on its own but also with jeans and pants. And really this type of dress is so much more me than <laughs> this one right here um, because it's more casual, it's more cool and more effortless and yeah, that's just me in a nutshell. Did I just call myself cool there? Guess I did. Anyway, the next dress is a black basic shift dress from ASOS that I've had for I think six or seven years, something like that. Something I also tend to bring out almost every single summer. It's just a really lovely throw-on piece. It sort of has this um, cocoon shape, so I'm hoping that I'll be able to fit it all throughout the summer season. And yeah, just a really basic, easy to wear kind of dress. You can dress it up and down for evening looks as well. So moving on to bottoms, I have a skirt here that I briefly wanted to show you. Um, don't really want to show you my maternity jeans because like I said, they're sort of like substitute to what I already had. Another thing that I bought pre-loved is this maternity skirt. It looks super short here, but it's not. It's, it has a decent length, I promise you. Um, but a denim skirt is such a summer staple to me. I cannot live without a denim skirt. I have one already, but it's obviously not maternity, so I'm not able to fit it right now. Yeah, it's gonna be nice to just wear it with t-shirts, with that shirt I mentioned before. I did also consider making a pair of my own um, maternity shorts, because I had a pair of Levi's jeans in my storage that I could easily turn into a pair of maternity shorts. Um, but I think I've decided to just go for the denim skirt and the dresses, keep it with that, and then save the Levi's jeans for next summer when I maybe have my normal body. We don't know. No pressure on myself. Um, but if I do, I think I would rather save them until next summer. So let's move on to summer shoes. Obviously, I still have my basic shoes. Again, I'll put in the basic wardrobe overview right here so you can see what shoes I'm talking about. But obviously, my black boots from Acne, solid basic, always part of my wardrobe. My Vea sneakers as well. But then I've added some shoes that are more summer appropriate. So you saw those leopard flats before at the start of the video, so obviously have those. Then I've also added these castanier, I think that's how you pronounce it, espadrilles to my wardrobe. I bought these pre-loved also in West Year Collective last summer and they are amazing. You can actually get these with two different sorts of heel heights. So I have the, the high height, I'm not sure, I think these are 10 or 12 centimeters, and then you can get some with half the height as well, so I think around six centimeters. So if you're not into these super high espadrilles, you can get a lower option. I actually wore them in France last year when we were there with a, a couple of friends. Um, we were out exploring one day when I wore these together with that striped dress and the denim jacket felt amazing, like a million dollars in that outfit. Um, and they were super comfortable to wear all throughout the day. So this is a great summer shoe in my opinion. Just reminds me of being on vacation somewhere down south and yeah i love them so the next pair of shoes is a new purchase or a pre-loved purchase or so not completely new um these are a pair of isabelle marang dicker boots i mentioned these in my wardrobe declutter video recently as well um, i sold a few things on west Year collective and then i purchased that green dress I showed you before, and then these boots. I'm especially excited to pair the two. I think that's gonna look amazing. The Isabelle Marang Dicker boots is something I've actually had on my wish list for, I wanna say about four years. So it's a well thought out purchase. Um, and they're in great condition, found them at a really reasonable price. This color is so much more me. They don't look make me look washed out or pale like the um, Acne Alma boots that I sold. These are everything that I've been dreaming of and so much more. They're super comfortable, wore them all day yesterday. These are gonna look amazing with my denim skirt, with all my dresses as well, with jeans. They're so versatile and I love them. Um, I'm gonna drop them off at my local cobblers because as you can see, they are a bit worn out at the bottom here. If there's something I don't understand, especially when it comes to designer shoes, it is why designers don't add that piece of rubber in the front here. And I just don't feel like when you make a high-end shoe like this, at a relatively high price point, I would say, if you buy them from new, I just don't understand why you don't add that from the beginning to, you know, not only to make them last longer, but also to make them more sturdy and more practical and 
non-slippery, but that is beyond me. Oh, I'm losing my breath. <sighs> All right, so the final piece that I wanted to mention in today's video is something that I have actually just bought today, um, since it was just my 30th birthday, and I got some, um, some money from some of my family members so that I could buy something that I wanted for myself. Um, and I have been thinking about for a really long time adding a pair of Birkenstock sandals to my wardrobe. You might discover that where are your sandals? Like where are the proper summer shoes? And it's because I haven't received them yet. Hoping they will be here tomorrow. Um, but I bought a pair of Arizona sandals from Birkenstock in this really lovely beige color. Um, found it really tricky to choose between the classic black and then the beige ones. Um, so the beige ones have sort of like the same color as the boots that I showed you before. And I just love that color. I feel like they look really soft. And I've tried to look at some outfits on Pinterest and sort of like compare the black and the beige ones. And I just found that, you know, Although I do also like the black ones a lot. You can actually get a, an all black pair that I also really liked. But I just felt like they were a bit more soft and a bit more, I don't know, a bit more summery, I guess. So I decided to go for the beige pair and I'm so excited for them to arrive. I think that at some point in my pregnancy and throughout the summer season, I will probably get rather swollen feet and ankles. And I think those shoes will just be a lifesaver. I think even post-pregnancy, if I just need to quickly jump into a pair of shoes, they are gonna be amazing. I also wrote a post the other day on Instagram where I asked you guys what your favorite sandals were. And so many of you wrote that Birkenstocks are the type of sandal that have been following you for years. So I'm hoping that this will be something I can have in my wardrobe for many years. So in terms of my whole low buy challenge, I am still challenging myself because most of what I've bought has been pre-loved. But then in this case, I have been thinking more about longevity and more about quality. Bought these with intention and with the intention of keeping them in my wardrobe for a really long time. So if you guys want some more summer outfits inspiration, from me. I do have a Pinterest profile with a newly updated spring summer inspiration board um, where I've also tried to pin some outfits uh, similar to, to what some of these items that I have shown you in today's video so you can see how I'm thinking about styling them in different ways. Um, but definitely make sure to follow me over on Instagram as well because I upload outfits every single day over there from day to day so you can see how I style up everything. So yeah, that is my maternity friendly, even non-maternity friendly summer capsule wardrobe. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will link the overview of my wardrobe down below in case you want to save it for your own reference or use it as inspiration. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I will see you all very soon for another video. Bye guys.